What's up guys, welcome back to QWorld! This is the third promise video of me basically showcasing all playable uh, classes, should I call them that? We've already seen how the warrior behaves, what kind of branches it's got, same for the ranger, now we're gonna check the mage! So let's just jump right into it. Right, and here we are in the game. Word of advice, this is some really hot stuff. This is day one content, as in uh, I'm learning stuff myself. Most of the skills you're gonna see are gonna be basic, the kind of stuff you get to jump right into. So with that said, uh, I should probably mention the mage also branches into two different categories, also called specializations. Once more, such a tongue twister for me, that word. Anyway, as you probably noticed, I'm a fan. Fire Mage, or it says Fire Magician, I suppose? Oh, I, I'm using Fire Magic, that could also work. Uh, right, there you go. And the other uh, thing it can branch in into is uh, a Water Mage. Main gist of these two classes is uh, the Fire Mage would usually deal a little bit more damage since it's got these fire spells and uh, once you lit an enemy on fire it's also gonna deal damage over time. And uh, the main purpose of being a Water Mage is having the ability of uh, healing your allies. So yes, you're gonna be uh, acting like a support class, you are gonna be helping out health-wise your allies, while of course dealing some damage as well. That said, let's take a closer look on how this uh, fire mage uh, behaves and later on we're... I, am I... Oh my god, I think I spawned right next to a villain? No. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that doesn't look like a village to me anyway, not gonna get anywhere close to that. Let me take a closer look over this fire mage later on, we're gonna check the water one. So with that said, what kind of skills do we have here? Mouse one is gonna create a fire swirl. I'm guessing this right here. I wanna, I wanna kill uh, or rather attack something with it, uh, just to see the damage over time and how effective this attack is. Can I, can I kill this unfortunate caterpillar? Wait, die! You, you gotta die from my powerful magic attacks. That deals. Oh my god, <laughs> I just died. Well, granted, I took on an enemy that had around 450 health, and I only got 152, so not the best match ever, but yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't see any damage being dealt by this attack, so am I missing something or what? Let me uh, let me try this again. Yeah, I don't seem to be dealing... <laughs> I, I seem to be dealing zero damage. Which is rather strange. Maybe my second attack is gonna do something. A fire vortex, it is called, and... It should look something like this. Oh, there you go, fine. Oh, wow, this is rather useful. It's also got a stun. Very, very useful. If only I'd survived this fight. Okay, this is gonna... <laughs> yeah, luckily for me, that stupid monster shares my movement speed, so he's never gonna catch me anyway, so I guess I uh, came out of that alive. But wow, the Vortex was... Uh, the Vortex was really... Used. Oh, look at that! I think I could... Um, a pinpoint, I, I was more accurate this time, I could focus my target, which is good to know. But otherwise, yeah, that's that's too uh, too strong of an enemy for me. Uh, let me check the other things. I think I'm gonna jump. You know what, I think I'm gonna jump straight to the fire missiles since I seem to be in danger right now. So let's see how the fire missiles play out by pressing my R button and... Oh boy, oh boy, now we're talking die! That's exciting! That's exciting, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta flee, I gotta flee, no, run away, run away! Uh, as soon as my fire missiles uh, ran out, I was dealing zero damage whatsoever, but wow, that, that was a, that, that's probably my strongest attack, right, as a fire mage. That fire missile button right there. Have you seen how the world was shook by the attack? Yeah, pretty nice. I think I'm gonna wait for my cooldown to finish and I'm gonna do another blow to this. What the, whatever that was, Gnabal, Gnabold. Gnobold? Yeah, just wait. Look at that. Look at this. I'm gonna kill this stupid Gnobold. Come here, do not flee. R, die! Did I? Nice. No! No! It's a bit unfortunate. Wow, it's gonna flee the fu Oh no! Oh my! It, it just drank a health potion, you know what? Yeah, let me mind my own business and uh, continue showcasing the skills. This is uh, quickly turning into the silliest skill showcase video ever. Right, so anyway, uh, the fire missiles, definitely my favorite skill so far. Other than that, we got the same dodge mechanic, the same dodge animation. What is that? Teleport? How would this work? Oh god. Okay. 
Let me try and do it again. How how far is the reach of this mechanic? Could I possibly teleport on, on the rooftop there? Oh no. I don't know what to say about it. It is useful, but it doesn't seem to be teleporting that far. Plus it takes a whole 100 mana, so your entire mana bar is gonna get depleted. You seem to be traveling around, how much is that? 20 blocks at best? Plus the cooldown, it's not instantly... Uh, there you go, it takes a while until it uh, it has effect, but interesting to have nonetheless. Now, let me check uh, what kind of stuff you get to spawn with. So, Shabby Wood Wand. Right now I was using a common wood stuff, but what if I was to use my Shabby Wood Wand? Oh, I, oh, now we're talking. I seem to have a fire beam now. This is much more interesting. So, besides the fire beam... I also now have access to a fire ray. That's gonna look something like... I, I, I guess it's stronger, right? It looks way thicker than the one before. How far is the range of... Oh! This is... Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you could please ignore that. The enemies are so strong, seriously. Especially if you're, uh, if you're having zero pieces of gear like I am right now. Yeah, fighting stuff is rather difficult. Anyway, plus those are way uh, above my level. Funny how I instantly died, though. Anyway, these look rather interesting. Ha ha I want to check the range again. Can I hit? Can, can I possibly hit those there? Oh wow, the range is rather impressive. Same for the fat beam. Whoa, the fat beam is so satisfying. That is nice. I really like that. That that's definitely enjoyable to use. Anyway, I think those are the only things that changed. Fire missiles seem to be still there. Yeah, that's the only thing that changed. What's next then? Uh, gold bracelet. Oh, these are some accessories, which are gonna boost my damage. Oh, I have to choose between two accessories. Gotcha. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Interesting. So that's pretty much it for the fire mage. Now, as always, let me find a village. Oh, God. That's the firebolt. Oh my god, the bracelets. What am I talking about? I thought that, that was it, but no. I don't want to fight those, that's for sure. Let me teleport and run away. Could I possibly teleport like so? Bam. That is useful. That is useful whenever you, you, you need to flee enemies like I just did there. Wow, this looks interesting. That, that was mouse too, by the way. And uh, it was called fireball. I did. I, I did. Yep. <laughs> that's exactly what, what happened. I am dead. Oh boy. Now, this made me curious. So it basically changed the first two abilities. This is also nice. I gotta say I like the beam more. But what if I was to change on the other bracelet? Oh, oh, I see. I can even have two bracelets at the same time. Could I possibly have two, two stabs? Probably not. Yeah, let me play with two bracelets. I think it's the same. Oh wow, look at that. Fire swirl. It's actually called fireball, I know. And the fire missiles are the same, right? Yeah. Yes, they are. Interesting. Now we're done with this class. That's the kind of stuff you get to spawn with right off the bat. Now let's try and find a village and see the water mage in action. Right, guys. I think I found what I was looking for. We got a village right here. And this is rather suiting. I'm uh, becoming a water mage by going through this river. Sounds legit. Anyway, and now that we're here, I gotta find the guy that's gonna turn me into what I want. And I think that's gonna be located... Wait a minute. Is... Yeah, this is a legit village. Uh, I think it's gonna be in the middle of the village somewhere. I think right there, actually. Right there you go. I think this is it. Hello, hello, talk. I wanna change my specialization to water magic. There you go. So what kind of skills do we have with this one? I think I'm gonna get back to my stuff. Wait, did I die? Oh, I think I died. I Well, it took a lot to find the village, so I forgot what happened in the meantime, honestly. But I think I died and lost my staff, so we got the bracelets, which basically have the same attack. The staffs are likely to have the same attacks, just reskinned, right? But what changed and what's really interesting... Is gonna look. We we even got the same. Uh, we even got the same teleport ability. What changed is the R button, which now does some water bubble attack. I have no clue what that is. So let's see it in action. 
Okay. Interesting. I I'm definitely gonna find a monster and uh, try it on uh, that. While playing around, I think I uh, spotted something I missed the first time and that's gonna be my regular shift. Which is float. It makes me wonder, and I think I'm gonna test it uh, right now. Could I possibly float over rivers? Because, you know, swimming takes way longer than uh, if you used to walk that distance. Could I possibly swim over stuff? That will be a good perk to have, I kind of forgot. Oh, I should use my map, the, the river is that way. You still seem to keep the same distance from the blocks underneath you. I also wonder if that's gonna spare you from fall damage. We're definitely gonna be testing all these uh, things out. Where could I... I wanna teleport on that rooftop, honestly. <gasps> oh my god. That's a revelation I just had. This is genius. This is genius, this is such a useful skill. Anyway, could I possibly fly do a Jesus thing? <gasps> no way! Oh my god, guys, okay, <laughs> wow, I may have a new favorite class. Okay, you're losing, uh, you're losing height rather quickly. But anyway, what would happen if you were to float over water? Would you eventually sink? Yes, you will event... No? You, you're gonna pull the Superman pose and... Keep going. You're going slower than usual though. You're definitely going slower than usual. I'm not sure if this is a bug or is it intended. <laughs> this is uh, behaving rather strangely. But anyway, have fun with that yourself because oh man, the floating thing is really awesome. Wow, I really like this levitating mechanic, that's for sure. Anyway, let me try and find an enemy now and uh, see that water bubble in action. <laughs> Could I possibly bother that, uh, that turtle there? Let's find out. Water bubble. I think this is the healing mechanic, honestly. That's likely to be the uh, healing mechanic. I'm gonna look it up for a oh, bit. Oh no, never mind. While looking stuff up, apparently the, the turtle got aggressive and it kind of removed half my health. Really now? <laughs> uh, I got. Luckily for me, I got the uh, this teleportation mechanic, which is gonna allow me to do just that. Oh wait, that. Where am I? I don't know, but I definitely escaped that stupid turtle. Okay guys, so I found out what's up uh, What's up with this water bubble mechanic. Apparently the bubbles are gonna stick to enemies and uh, explode after a while and they're, uh, they're of course gonna take damage. So let's try, uh, let's try this again. See if I find another enemy and uh, see it in action better. And a quick correction to what I said earlier, they're gonna stick to enemies and only explode when they deal damage apparently. But we're gonna test all that stuff out. Also, apparently they're gonna slow down once uh, they're under this water bubble. Is this? No, it's an elf. I may have to cross this water and I really didn't want to do that, but oh well. Can I, could I possibly teleport on the other side? Yes, I can. Come on. I'm a mage. So far, honestly, the water mage can travel... Well, both the fire mage and the water mage can travel rather quickly through the land. And that is one, one, one beautiful... Uh, looks like a pegasus from here, but it, it is not. Anyway, let me... Uh, have you what okay that's a fight happening there you know I'm gonna throw my water bubbles you know what insect guard I'm likely to die I will probably die but okay so I think I just oh go <laughs> oh boy could I possibly let me try and teleport uh, on top of this tree no I died rip me anyway so yeah the bubbles dealt a tiny bit of damage if even that once I uh, once I triggered my uh, water bolts, basically. So I basically left my water bubbles and then I shot the enemy, thus activating them, as you've seen right now. So guys, I guess that is gonna be it for the uh, mage. There you go, the fire mage showcase, the water one showcased as well. This is gonna be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you didn't already and uh, I will see you on the next one. Any ideas?